Hey guys, in this video, we're going to talk about five features that all women love and that make you a real man in her eyes. So if you're new to my channel, oh wait, and one feature that no women loves. So you definitely want to avoid that feature no matter what. So if you're new to my channel, my name is Anna Jorgensen. Welcome to Just the Tip Tuesday. So I've already done two other videos on this topic. So if you want to know the other features, I will put a link at the end of this video and below so that you can go and watch those videos as well. And one of the things I want to remind you of is that these are features that any man can develop if he doesn't already have. And if he has it, then he might want to, you might want to exhibit it more with the woman that you're interested in. So feature number one is validation. So it's really, really attractive when a man is self-validating. What does this mean? Well, it means that he doesn't look to outside sources for his self-worth. So it kind of ties in with some of the other traits in the other videos like bravery and authenticity, but really it's where he doesn't need to have either attractiveness validation, for example, from other women, but also just generally as a man, he doesn't need somebody else's permission to be who he is, to be who you are. So this is in sharp contrast to, for example, children who really don't know who they are because they're still developing and they constantly look outside themselves for validation, whether it's to their, usually it's initially from their parents and then to other authority figures to kind of say, oh, is this okay? Am I okay? So if you are self-validating, then you're okay with yourself. You don't need somebody else to tell you that you're okay in whatever it is you're doing. And it doesn't mean that you're inconsiderate. It just means that you know who you are, you know where you stand, and you act accordingly. Now, one of the ways that you can self-validate is by number two. Johnny, make it two. You can have a purpose and a passion. So a man who has a purpose and a passion that is greater than the girl he's going after, even if it's actually family uh, with that particular woman, is very attractive. So this is definitely a feature that all women love. A man who has a purpose and a passion that's beyond her. So don't put her on a pedestal because she'll look down on you, but have some kind of a purpose and or passion, preferably <laughs> you can do the same or, or they can be different, that drives you and compels you to move toward it that you don't need permission for from her or anyone. And some examples might be, you know, like being dedicated to a career or being committed to your health. Like you're not gonna not go to the gym that one day because she wants you to do something else or well, when you're allowed to go to the gym again, or whatever, you're not gonna stop working out because she's got something else planned for you. That is your purpose. Your purpose is to be healthy, or if your purpose is to pay off debt, or if the purpose is to save for a rainy day or to pay off a mortgage, whatever it is that drives you to get out of the bed in the morning because it's your mission in life, that's really attractive to women. And that kind of is in line with number three, which is autonomy. So this is where you are being independent. Now that doesn't mean that you don't want her or desire her, but you are okay on your own and you do some things on your own. You don't need her to be with you at all times to make your life worthwhile. You want to be with her, you desire to be with her, but you have areas of your life where you're independent of her, that she's not actually included in. Maybe it's when you go and hang out with the guys, or maybe it's when you're working on your vehicle, or maybe it's when you're gaming, or whatever it is, you have something that's outside of your relationship from her that keeps you independent. In the relationship, there's interdependence, but you are still a whole person on your own and have things that are just for you. Now, and this applies whether you're just meeting a girl or if you're already in a relationship. These are the qualities that all women find attractive. And part of the reason why this is so attractive to women is because when you want a woman, but you don't need her, then she knows you're with her out of desire, out of her deserving to be with you, not because you're desperate. And as soon as you get beyond your desperateness, you might leave her for someone else. You're with her because you choose to be with her, not because you need her, because you're 
already completely fine on your own, like really fine, not just saying it because you're bitter. Don't be bitter. Be better, not bitter. So number four on this list is security. So I don't mean financial security, although that might be uh, a factor in this trait. But what I mean by security is you being comfortable in who you are and what you've achieved, whether it's lots or not lots. And the greatest expression of being secure within yourself is being able to openly admire or compliment people who are doing better than you in areas of life. So whether they're fitter than you or more financially uh, successful than you or further along in their career than you are, anywhere in life where somebody else that could be perceived as competition is doing better than where you would like to be or where you are. And you can actually say, wow, that person has done an amazing job. Wow, I really admire them and am inspired by them, maybe even motivated. Then that is a really attractive quality because it shows that you are not threatened by outside sources, including other men. Maybe there's another guy in the world that, you know, some guy would be insecure around, but not you. You're not insecure around anyone for any reason because you're completely self-secure. So you need to work on this one because sometimes it's going to be a challenge. There's always going to be somebody out there who has more, is more, whatever. Like there is just a lot of what could be perceived as competition. But if you don't let that bother you, then that increases your value in her eyes. She knows that you know your own value, so she knows your value because of that. Now, this is uh, sometimes a challenging trait to develop because it really means being good with yourself. And although, yes, everyone in the self-help world is going to say, oh, just love yourself. Well, sometimes that actually does require achieving certain things to actually be able to feel good about yourself. And that's why you want to get my Wake Up to Love program, because that's going to give you the steps you need to take to do the things you need to do to become the man you will feel secure in. And it has nothing to do with women. I mean, there's definitely a, a module in there about learning about what women need, but really it's more about becoming the best person you can be so that you have the highest level of self-respect and you can acquire all of these traits by doing certain actions. So I'll put a link for that below. Now, next one. This is probably the most important quality for women that if you can achieve, will be the ultimate thing that makes her feel like you are a real man. And it is to be her rock. Okay, how to be her rock? I don't mean the rock. I don't mean Dwayne, although Dwayne is probably a rock. Well, he's a rock. He's a rock for his woman. But being the rock in her world is being steady, somebody she can count on, a person, a man that she can trust that while you may be spontaneous and you may provide some surprises for her, she is able to count on you. She can trust that you're going to be there when the going gets tough. So if you embody all these other traits that I've talked about in this video and the other two videos, then you're just going to end up being her rock. Part of this is being able to see her and accept her, including her flaws. So again, you don't put her on a pedestal because if you put her on her pedestal, she will look down on you, but you love her or appreciate her if you're not to the love stage yet for who she really is, even with her flaws. So you don't try to maybe sweep the flaws under the rug, pretend they don't exist. You might even tease her about her potential flaws, as long as they're not physical and, and would make her self-esteem really degrade. But if it's something that you particularly admire about her, but she has a bit of an insecurity about it, then you could tease her about that. Like maybe she grew up as a redhead and was teased a lot as a kid. And so, you know, she got called Carrot Top. Maybe you call her Carrot Top, but you really like her red hair. So you are expressing something that you acknowledge she thinks is a flaw, although I don't think my red hair is a flaw now. Uh, but you actually admire it. And so when you can accept her fully for who she is, then she feels validated. She feels valued. And that brings up your value in her eyes. And it also brings up her value in her eyes. So you are each other's 
sort of team. You're each other's team. When you get to be the rock for her, then she knows you're on her team and she will want to be on your team. And of course, the opposite of that is if you are making unrealistic fantasies about her being perfect, she's not going to trust that you know who she really is. And she's going to be afraid that one day you'll figure it out and realize that she's not perfect and what's going to happen then. So she may actually exaggerate her maybe personality imperfections to try and get you to acknowledge them. So part of being a rock is being able to be honest about who she really is and accepting that and not as per some of the other uh, traits in I think the first video, not allowing her to get away with things that she really shouldn't get away with that are not healthy for either of you. So when you're each other's biggest fan and your teammates, then you both feel safe in the relationship knowing that you're not going to be affected by outside negative influences, that you're a solid unit together and can get through anything. Like women's greatest need is to feel safe. Okay, now what about the worst thing? One of the worst things you can do or be as a man that's such a turnoff to all women. Well, it's kind of the opposite of everything in here. It's about being needy. So when you're not her rock, when you are not authentic, when you are, you know, not standing up for your own values or setting boundaries because you're afraid she'll leave you, because you are desperate for her to want you, because down deep inside yourself, you think that you're not good enough for you and she'll figure that out and she's out of your league and she's going to leave you. If you're needy, or if you feel all those things, you're going to act needy and that's going to be a major turnoff because when you feel like you're not good enough for her, she will instinctively feel like you're not good enough for her. And she might be even like psychologically thinking subconsciously, okay, what is it that's so fundamentally wrong about this guy that he knows that I don't know yet? But there's something there that's not good. So turn off. And the other part about being super needy is who are super needy? Oh, children are super needy. So when a man is super needy, then he becomes like a child. And again, I've said in many other videos that when she goes into maternal mode, she comes out of attraction mode. She can't go there when she's in mother mode. So you definitely want to avoid being needy. Take my wake up to love program. You will become the kind of man all women are attracted to. You will become a real man in her eyes. And most importantly, in your own eyes, if you do the work, there is work in that course. So yes, which of these traits are you gonna work on today? Let me know in the comments. I'll see you next week.